Welcome back to the Rebirth. It might not look good on the outside, but we're making good progress on the base. But surviving the Horde goes beyond just having a strong base. So the plan today is to finish the chicken coop quest line and get ready for bulk food production. I'd also like to craft a new vehicle and see what kind of tier 5 quests are offered up north in the frozen snow biome. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you. But now, it's go time. All right, couple of things right off the bat here. What was I working on last night? I always forget what I was working on. I think I was working on getting like Prussian blue. Yeah, there's a couple of those right there. And we can just keep those on the hotbar from now on to help with radiation poisoning. Plenty more rolling in where that came from. Ah, right, I was working on the drone. Yes, and I've got all the mods making for it. So there was um, a suggestion to try out the quad bike and I wanted to see if I have the materials to do this. No, we need an engine. I could pull one out of the generators downstairs otherwise we're good we just need wheels okay we need two more rims okay just a couple more things on the shopping list for this morning get started on those wheels purchase a couple of these shotgun turrets set these back in load them up lock ammo connect them up man it's quite a mess already <laughs> i can't help myself there we go so that's done give me that body bag of explosive immune zombies set you back down turn that body bag into explosive immune powder just drop a little bit of first aid into the drone okay then we turn that powder into the explosion resistant concrete mix and then we turn that mix into the explosion resistant concrete blocks 75 of them i think i'll start off with 50 and we'll save the rest for repairs to the existing explosion explosion resistant concrete because there's quite a bit of it out there still waiting on selling basically until i either need the money or i don't have the storage anymore and then we can just benefit a lot from the pumpkin bread speaking of pumpkin bread anything i can cook here there's a few things to cook but probably what we should do is head over to the garden and while we're over at the garden today i want to see if i can capture a few chickens so let me see if i can get the quad bike crafted just needed those i think oh and one engine there we go quad bike 10 minutes all right that'll be ready by the time we get home probably we'll just take the helicopter over all right so we're looking for food and chickens <laughs> let's go all right the garden's looking real good i think it's ready for harvest nothing like a fully grown garden to restock the food chest after we lost everything there a couple of days ago just noticing here too that i have like an awkwardly large amount of both chrysanthemum and blueberries which are both essentially useless really probably need more potatoes by the looks of it and mushrooms oh and look at that with the last crop there level three in green hands nice so the next harvest i think we'll be getting three crops per hit and just double check all the water containers and this is just still Oh wait, I missed all these mushrooms. Yeah, these are still not pulling water from the center. I don't know what's going on with that. Like, I guess these were just, are doing fine just on rainwater alone, maybe? Now we need chickens. All right, let's just, um... <laughs> okay, you, you hang out the side with the tranquilizer gun and I'll, I'll fly around and try to keep it stable for you. We'll get a couple of tranquilizer shots off on a chicken. No, I don't really know where the best place is to find them i guess i'll just uh park it over here by the mine i was over here mining um uh, clay last night with um uh who's our new guy neuro so there should be whoa whoa look out for trees a little bit yep we're good yeah where is the mining hole that's the gunpowder mine we've had a lot of fun times over there uh the the other mine is right there i can see it yeah we'll just park it here at the mine kind of familiar territory for me and you can see all the clay that I ripped off there last night. I feel uh, pressured these days to kind of like, you know, show you what I've been doing off camera because there have been some cheating accusations in the comments. So, uh, you know, <laughs> go ahead, accuse away, man, because I've got all the footage for this series saved. So if you need me to upload a little short for you to, to show you the raw footage, I'd be more than happy to just to prove you wrong. <laughs> anyway, uh, let me know if you see any chickens out here. Oh, you know, while we're out here, not a bad idea to get some honey, if I can. Nope. Hmm. Not a creature was stirring, not even a chicken. No zombies, no deer, no pigs, no wolves, nothing. I see one zombie over there. Oh, what, what, are, we, what are you running your ass over here for? How could you possibly hear me from over there? Is Feral Sense on, or are you guys just... Maybe you guys are like evolved zombies. You can hear better. Yeah, you got the uh, explosive immune remains there. So I will be happy to kill you and yank those out of whatever part of your body they sit in. Tonight, we got to mine iron. I've used all the iron already. So yeah, if we want to get more steel, we got about 2000 steel and more crafting. So 
I think we're doing okay, but uh, the more the merrier, of course. How could there not be a single chicken? I've, I've, I've walked all the way over here and nothing. I suppose I should just pay more attention while I'm out here and get the eggs. The only reason I'm looking for chicken is to get eggs. So if I could just get the eggs, it kind of skips a step there for us. What is this? This is like one of the Wild West things. Okay, what do we got here? Some ammo, good. Some fat, maybe, no. Some crops up here. This is a, uh, it looks like a chicken coop POI. Type of thing. What is this? Some kind of. Ooh, ooh, hello there, soldier. Did you literally. <laughs> he like pushed me through the wall. I'll take those remains. And while I'm here, what, what, what do I get out of this? Oh, that's super corn. Are you kidding me? Wow. That's crazy. Is this super corn? No, this is regular corn. Huh. Well, I've never seen super corn just growing in the wild. That's another three super corn and three regular corn. Yeah, this is. um... What the hell is this place anyway? I can't tell if it's this POI here, or if it's this POI here, or if it's this one, or if these are all the same. I don't know, I recognize that house, that's the, that's a vanilla house, it's like a Victorian house, I think. Uh, but it's also the snake house. Alright, here we go, I'm walking straight into a POI, it could be a terrible ambush waiting for me here. Oh, there's a wolf, so, you know, at least something's alive around here. And, um, I can't have the pumpkin, no! Wait, 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 maybe if I, like, uh, wrench it or something that'll work? Oh, look out. I got caught on fire a little bit there. Whoops. Oh, you didn't have to do that. Drone. I'm good. You're not getting away. Come back here. Need that fat. Here we go. Give me those remains. You know, the first couple of times I played this game way back, like before I was making content and stuff, I suffered... Oh, there's some honey. Uh, two really, really bad base collapses. I think <laughs> we've all had base collapses before, right? So, can I have that? I can. Nice. Is this super corn? No, that's just dead corn. Okay. Uh, oh, fire extinguisher. Nice. My first one since I fixed the mod. Right, so we've all had base collapses, right? I, I would imagine. Most of us, anyway. If you've ever built a tower base, <laughs> you've probably run into some stability problems. But, um... You know, those two times my base collapsed, it was really bad, like lost all of my materials, had to start all over again, and like one time, I just kind of rage quit. I remember I was doing a perception playthrough and trying out the spear. <laughs> that was about the last time I used the spear too. But um, after I restarted a, a world for a couple of days, I realized that I, I really wanted to go back to that original one where there was the collapse, and I wanted to do a rebuild and see if I could actually manage to get a base put together. And it was really like the most fun that I ever had. And these days where, you know, I, I've learned the game and I, I understand the ins and outs and the do's and don'ts. The amount of times that I've suffered like major defeats and I've lost materials and my crafting stations have been destroyed, those are few and far between. Which only makes me like and appreciate this mod even more, that it's it's still able to afford me the challenge that I had when I was just starting out. Right now the challenge is finding chickens. I've spent half the day out here. <laughs> it's not the challenge I was talking about really. I wonder, you can buy the chickens though, I think, from the farmer trader. I just thought it would be easy. I only need two chickens. Ah! All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna work my way back. If anything, we can just um, get the quad bike and roll around and see if we can find one on that. Kind of cover some ground a little bit more quickly. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of like way off here. We're heading straight back. Oh, is this, I've never seen that stump before. Is that a honey stump? Oh, it is. Oh, I was just like rolling through here. Like what the hell happened here? That's yeah, one of the treasures I uh, dug up. <laughs> that I was probably accused of cheating on. Oh, here we go, got a biker. Gotta kill him still for the uh, armor penetration aura. Ooh, take that. You know, usually, you know, comments like that, I just turn the other way, but uh, these days, you know, this is my job. So if someone attacks my integrity, I gotta defend myself. Oh, another biker. Hello there. A little bit tougher than the other one. Whoa, look out. All right, anyway, slight bust on this mission. Let's head back and see if we can at least buy the chickens and get a chicken coop crafted. I think it was the farmer trader that uh, sells that. We'll have to check it out. Okay, legions lost. Tell me, you got plenty of dogs. Do you have chickens though? Oh, here we go. They're kind of pricey if I'm being honest, but I think I just needed two of these. And uh, is that it? Oh my goodness, I'm starving and thirsty. Wow, and slacking on my survival skills. Okay, I have a few things crafting away upstairs. We had that mission there to collect like cornmeal. So I'm making cornmeal. I've got the sticks, I've got the chickens. We'll complete that quest and we'll get the chicken coop schematic and then we'll craft at least one chicken coop. In the meantime, it's time to come down here and finish things off. I think we're all set with these. I am making some vault doors to put in here instead. And I've got the... 
uh, vault hatches here. I think I made several extra because I want to also put vault doors like on the backs of these. However, this one, let's see if I plastered one right there, that is actually borrowing stability from like the table saw or something, which is just not what you want to see. So what we could do is, uh, oh, uh, that would actually work pretty well, I think. But if we just got like uh, this corner piece right here and then one there, then just kind of rotate it so it opens outward. And that kind of looks like a hinge. I don't really like that shape though. Something more like a uh, stairs spiller pyral or otherwise known as the spiral pillar. Yeah, that might look a little bit better. Let's try that. It's debatable. I'm gonna do it anyway because I think it'll look better once it's painted. Okay, and then can I just upgrade that to, yep, concrete. Everything to concrete at least these days. Okay, and then that'll open right up, seal everything in. Okay, lights are on. It's 8 o'clock. Good. How are the lights looking? Lights are looking fair. You guys need to stop shooting things. This is definitely, definitely you guys' fault. Shooting down here towards zombies. Okay, fix that, and this time, going to steal along with like basically everything else around here. See, this was the only block that we lost there during the screamer battle the other night. So this, nope, this will go in that orientation and then the hatch will go in the flat orientation folding up toward us. I'm not sure if that's the best way to do it, but um, I'm gonna roll with it anyway. Okay, to steal fully upgrade this. Is this fully upgraded? That is, okay, steal. And then if I jump out here, what are we looking at for this side? Okay, I think, yeah, I'll have someone do the repairs. I don't need to kind of fuss around with all this stuff, but I think we're looking okay out here. This is all steel. This is the explosion resistant concrete, which didn't that have 5,000 hit points before? And now it has 7,500. That's cool, cool with me anyway. Yeah, fix the door. And uh, there's nothing else I can really do. These are all steel and these, um, the spiller pyrals, <laughs> Jeez, I can't even say it correctly now. Spiral pillars are uh, are occupying this block spot right here. It kind of looks like it wouldn't be, but it is. So there's nothing I can do about that. I would, if I could, if I really wanted to grind that off, I would put something else here that would better cover this block from spit, but that's the best I can do for now. I think it should hold up. And then if it gets too dicey, I'll just close the doors, shut it all down, and we'll move them over to a different side. Oh, and there was the other thing I wanted to do. I wanted to put like a fence up uh, on this. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Well, after I finish upgrading in here, I gotta get everything up to steel and then I'll meet you out there. Okay, steel upgrades are done. I've done a little bit of crafting upstairs and now it's time. I also, I put the structural integrity goggles on so we can see what's going on here because uh, we do have to figure out um, if what I'm about to do is going to do any di or like possibly cause this to collapse. Are we good here? Are we good? I think we're good. I've got 50 explosion resistant concrete cubes. That's more for like areas down there and over there. What we're about to build right now needs to be steel. Okay, so the idea is to build something here that will just slow down the zombies a little bit as they're trying to come down this causeway. So I think just going three high with these posts and then putting bars in the middle will be just what we need. Okay, I'm still green on the outliner, but just real quickly check on what's going on here. Looks good, we shall continue. All right, a little bit of action here, what's going on? It's hard to say because if one zombie shows up, We've got nine people shooting at him, so it's like, is this a massive horde? Oh my god. No, no, it's just one person. Okay. Uh, yeah, but it's kind of hard for you to see on the other camera angle, but this is what we're looking at here. So it's a uh, double pillars going up and then check the integrity again. Looks okay. Looks okay. The question is going to be if I upgrade this to steel, is it going to be too heavy? So we'll just go slowly here with the upgrades and make sure that uh, we don't cause any sort of collapse here. Whoa! No! No! I was being so careful! How- what the hell? Aw, oh, crap! Oh my god, I gotta rebuild this whole thing now! Okay, and that- that was like a lot of explosion-resistant concrete too, like... Uh, probably like 40 blocks of it. I do have, like, plenty- we- I've made a whole bunch of it. We were able to make two extra batches, but still... All right, quick as we can then. We gotta get a whole new 
causeway built over to the other side. And I, I still do want to do the plan, the original plan that I had, except now I'm just going to have to, like, connect it to the ground, you know? There's going to have to be another support pillar for this whole system here. Okay, I got the bottom portion built, and I've got them set into the foundation. Now just a matter of rebuilding the framework, setting the bars back in, and re-upgrading everything. <laughs> Weren't we just talking about base collapses and how it doesn't happen to me anymore? I totally jinxed myself. I even had the advantage of the stru structural integrity goggles, and st it still happened. All right, final process here, upgrading the steel. All right, that there is a done deal. It, um, it doesn't look too bad, actually. I kind of like it. And... Of course, everything looks better when it's painted. But yeah, so the zombies will come up here. I made it three tall so that the the seekers also will get stuck back here. And this just gives them like four layers of steel that they have to carve through while I'm sitting here with my tuna fish gravy toast and my armor piercing rounds with my armor penetration aura just rinsing them right down this way. Hopefully with the drone not in my face. There we go. Yeah, just like this. Just just pumping ammo downrange, and uh, hopefully that will buy us enough time. And of course, you know, things might fail down there. But really, I think the weakest link up here is the door. So if I can keep them away from the door for longer, I think that increases our survivability. Now we just gotta replicate that whole thing on this side over here. It's funny, I'm putting way more effort into these, like, afterthought side fighting positions than I am the main front fighting positions. Just because I feel like we've probably reached like pretty much max capacity on the front without doing a complete overhaul. All right, that's everything built up. Had to, I ran out of cobblestone cube shapes, so I'll have to make a few more of those. But uh, we have plenty of resources. Well, probably really low on wood, but I'll do the best I can out here anyway. Okay, surprisingly, I have just run out of steel. Uh, that whole project there was really, really costly. Uh, so I'm gonna go upstairs and see if I can make any more of it. Oh, before I head back in, let's just set down some of these blocks. Of course, we're gonna need more of these, because I used a whole bunch for the foundation of these. But yeah, we're getting there. We're making some progress. It's a huge project, getting this place buttoned up for what I'm expecting to be. It's just a absolutely destructive and vicious horde coming up soon. But uh, yeah, we're, we're getting there. Oh, I, I forgot to mention, I put in some stools here. Just in case we ever get like a health and safety inspection, uh, I want to make sure that uh, they know that I'm taking good care of my employees. Okay, so since we're here, we should be fine now to... Oh yes, I have already got the chicken coop schematic, because I got all the stuff in my inventory. So we can read that and... Chicken coop. Can I make a couple of these? Oh, oh, I can make actually is it one chicken each? Well, either way, I'm gonna make like Three of these. Uh, we've got to get these these furnaces running again. It's getting uh, tight here with the steel situation Where's all my steel? There it is. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, oh, we can make a couple thousand more So I'll take maybe like 550 into each of these please and there's a whole bunch actually sitting in these forges so Okay, wait, we're far better off than I thought I was. And right, we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, this has got to go, unfortunately. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing here that we did downstairs just to make sure that there's absolutely no way for spit or anything like that, any sort of projectile to come in here. Ah, yes. The, the old-fashioned bandit raid. They can't even get to the friggin' steps anymore. Arno Stahl has made it to the stairs along with Thracen and Attack of the Dodo and Diana Kelly. And Carrie Haley. <laughs> They're not getting much further than there's Christoria, Cat, Cajun Thunder, ND22Z0. And that the cat was the last one there. Oh wait. Nope. ND was the last one. Nice try. Oh yeah, see these are actually slightly damaged. Oh, how are we doing on ammo on these anyway? Out of ammo and uh, Loaded with ammo. Okay, I'm gonna just redo this then. Okay, so these ones are just going to open up like this and Downstairs here. I should be able to plaster in the six doors. They're gonna be all going in just like this It it's it looks kind of weird, but it's what we have to do. I, I think I don't know if this is gonna work at all, but um, This is it. So as an example this is going to be our firing line, only visible by this very, very small area. I'll step back here. I'm a little bit elevated because of these security gates, so I can just crouch down. Sometimes you get sneak attack damage anyway, and just try to get as many headshots as I can. And then when I'm ready, I will... Okay. Right, because we're going to be starting off in this configuration here with just this door open. When that one's done, hit that, hit that, close the door again, open this door. 
And that'll be down and we'll fight here until this gets killed. And we'll be able to kind of open this up and check on the status of everything. And then when this side fails, come back out here, make sure that's closed. We'll just open them up on the left, close the door. And I could just open one or both of these doors and uh, should be safe. If I just kind of step back, there shouldn't be anyone that sees me too well. Right, and then rinse and repeat onto this side. So I think that's about as good as it's gonna get for the next horde at least. Okay, just for now though, I want them open on the front because um, that's where the allies are gonna be able to shoot them the best. All right, I forgot all about that quad bike. Can set that down and put some fuel into it. Hopefully it doesn't take like 10,000 fuel. Oh, that's pretty cool actually. I like that, very small. Open it up and yeah, that takes a lot of fuel. That takes uh, 10,000 fuel. Okay, <laughs> well, we need more gas then. How are we doing on ammo? Ammo was short on brass, but there's 11,000 of it right there. How are we doing now? Okay, we can get a couple thousand. We are short on nitrate. Oh, I can hear a horde walking in. Okay, quickly get these guys out of here. Nitrate and razzle dazzle. Nitrate, that should be good for about 10,000 nitrate. Okay, yeah, here they come. <laughs> they still just stand absolutely no chance. Now, for some reason, they're just trying to use the stupid drawbridge over here. Could you guys just not do that, please? What is wrong with you? Come on over here. Okay, good. These guys might have some remains on them. Then again, if they're just the regular evolved zombies, they're not gonna have them. All right, let's go set down those chicken coops over at the farm. This is just not a good place for chickens over here. It's bad enough to have a Dalmatian here. If I had to say so, probably the best place to put it is over here. Okay, I brought the, um, oh my goodness, they're small. I was expecting like uh, Undead Legacy style where they would be huge. Okay, so in that case, Maybe I want them to live over here. Yeah, how about we just uh, put a couple just like this and uh, like that. And it's probably what, like one? Um, how do I put the chicken in? Is it like one each? Nothing to gather, occupant, none. Where, where do I just have to put the chicken down nearby? Is that is that the trick here? Z-Bark, the chicken. No, he's still, he, oh, go oh, there we go. Okay, so he does live here now. I see, oh, we've got free range chickens out here. I'm just, I'm hoping that they don't fall off the edge. That would be kind of tragic. I'll just hope that they have brains enough not to do that and they can kind of just, you know, peck around in the garden. And those should, every hour, produce eggs, I think. Yeah, we got Donnerbur, Flounder, and Z-Bark the chickens. At this point, um, I want to do something that we haven't done before, and that's go do a quest in the snow biome. So I'm gonna fly my way over there see who's out there. I think it's Trader Joel. Get a job from him and see if we can do some kind of a new tier five mission out here. However, I gotta do a quick pit stop here for this airdrop. Yep, just uh, nice and slowly here. Take the fat and bones and stuff off of him. We got a farming bundle and some other junk. Okay, up we go before we get shot. All right, to the trader. Okay, just at first glance, it didn't look like there was any sort of a tier five in this city here but I could see several off in the distance that are like wilderness POIs. Joel, what do you got for me? Do you happen to have any um, shotgun turrets or double barrel shotguns? This is where I got them the last time. He does have a couple. Sure, I'll take those just in case I ever have to recraft the shotgun turrets and a job. Tier five. We don't want to go south. That's the wasteland. We have one 3.8 kilometers to the north of fetch and clear at Armageddon by Stallion's Den. Jeez, I don't think I have the... <laughs> um, oh, Le Cube by Z-Bark. That sounds far more up my alley. Yeah, I don't have the ammo on me right now for a Stallion's no Den POI. What? Just... <laughs> Not possible. If I do Stallion's Den POI, I gotta have the whole crew with me and like, you know, at least 2,000 rounds of AP 762. All right, wow, we get, we're going almost five clicks over there to the Northwest. I'll meet you over there. Yeah, this whole part of the map here is uncharted. I, we kind of went through here before when we got lost. Like if we check the map, I did go through this road. Oh my God, there's a whole wasteland up there and then wrapped it back around through a temperate biome, through the snow into the temperate biome again. All right, here we go. We're doing the cube. All right, looks like a military installation, but it looks big as well. There's definitely a lot more than meets the eye here. Oh, look, warthogs. 
Warthogs and a Rad, right by none of these are working. Oh boy, we have um, a person here with um, attack assault rifle that can help me out. Nope, that's a, that's a bandit. Ooh, taking, taking fire from someone. I can't see where it's coming from. Oh, here it is. Take you down. This is your uh, skeleton zombie warrior right here, I think. That's where it, oh, geez, aiming to get at some point. Pistol user. You know how I feel about pistol users. Okay, well, at a bare minimum, we have some backup guns today in case anything goes wrong. All right, we'll go through here a little bit later. We don't have all day. Well, we, we have all day, but I don't want to take all day. Hey, rage capsule. That's a good find. So anyway, let's hit it and start poking our way through here. Fetch and... Nope, not fetch and clear. It's just a clear. Just a clear, and I need these body bags. Oh, look at that, a rampage. I didn't realize I could get a rampage going off of, um, whoops, uh, birds, but <laughs> there you go. Where are all these stupid things coming from? Oh my god, we've got like evolved dogs now that run right straight through you. Okay, as much as I like having the rampage, I do kind of need to poke around here and salvage resources and pick up body bags. The rage is not meant to last forever, I guess. I do have the rage capsule though. Not that it's the same thing. All right, I've cleared the first half of the outside. <laughs> Time to move into the probably significantly worse half of the outside. Man, this place looks cool though. Oh geez, <laughs> X marks the spot. Uh, what kind of a spot though? Oh, rads. Oh man, a whole bunch of them. Okay, locked and uh, that said locked too, I think. Yes, can't unlock them. So I guess we're just, you know, trying to kill here. Oh geez, totally trapped already. Yep, gonna be one of those types of places. Gotta at least try to be careful with the ammo use today. We don't have unlimited ammo. And we know what happened the last time I ran out of ammo, although I should be in a far better position to survive now that I have like splints and steroids and things like that. And I did repair my armor before I left to come here today. Just picked up some vitamins, that's always nice. Locked, unlocked. Okay. Z-Bark is a good POI maker, so I would imagine I don't have to do anything to get through that. There's probably another way. Yep, yeah, like this way. Oh, hello. I heard ceiling tiles breaking. There we go. Uh, lots of activity behind this door here. Here, let's, um, let's just prime them for one big explosive ending for them. There we go. Oh, yes. Uh... Okay, that's not real fire. That's like pseudo fire. And it should go out in a second. Yeah, okay, I'm not on fire, I'm good. Oh, I've got the drone with me now too, with the healing items in it. That's always helpful. Okay, I'm not, not here to salvage. I don't need electrical parts. I need, um, I need springs right now, I think is the thing I'm short on the most. Should go back to that POI that had all the beds to harvest some of those up. Whoop. Oh, okay, well, same deal here then. Nothing different than before. Oh, geez. Yes, they are evolved and they can do stuff like that. Ow. Holy crap. Holy crap. Fire, fire, fire. Yes, put me out, please. Whoa, lots of zombies back there. Okay, close that door temporarily. Give me a little bit of reprieve here. Yes, uh, do something with stuff and make myself better. I don't know what I did. I, I ate pills and it put me out from being on fire, so... All right. Okay, they can't open this door. I guess the uh, the evolved zombie has been killed. Okay, massive fire though. I don't know what's catching on fire here though. This is all. Oh, there's there's little bits of <coughs> wood here and there. Okay, just be prepared for massive ambushes then. It seems. Oh boy, what is this? Oh, I like these lights. Do I want to maybe take some of these with me? I think I do. These are good to like put over top the workstations back home. It'll help light the area since I had to take down both of our little lamps that we had. Is this some kind of like a reactor? Or like uh, something like that? Huh, okay, nowhere to go though that I can see. Um, oh, this is, this is the other cube. So I've walked through, so I've, I've searched this cube. There might not even be an underground portion, but how do I get to the lower part of this cube. And I don't think there's anything going on here, really, that I can see. All right, I'm gonna go back outside. Oh, hello there, Stone Wyvern. Nice. 
Stone Wyvern with the the pistol, of all things. You better be quiet out here. I got Molotovs, you know. Yeah, how do I get in the bottom portion of this building? Is the question. Hmm, now I don't see anything though. I mean, I didn't see anything really on the rooftop when I flew over. I guess that's something of a possibility. I guess I gotta head back in and look around some more. Maybe there's a button that I missed. Okay, no, I don't, I don't see anything. I guess I gotta rip through here. Oh, careful with the gas too. I don't have very much of it. In fact, I think the impact driver is gonna be even faster than the auger. Okay, we're in. Oh, there is an underground portion. Yeah. Okay, getting a little bit late in the day too. So there might be like um, an underground tunnel that connects the two and that's how we're gonna clear out the bottom portion of the next, holy crap, hello there. Oh, Z-Bark surprising me with the snakes a little bit there. Oh, I just jumped up here. Hidden stash, nice. Are you kidding me? Oh, steroid schematic. Into the other room here now. Yes, okay, that looks like it's going into the other, you know, area. That's locked, okay. I might have to carve my way through that, who knows. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, I don't like that these doors are locked open. I'd really like to put a door between me and these zombies. There we go. Drum mag coming in handy there. Oh man. Oh, snakes, snakes everywhere here. Oh, and there are zombies that are going to carve their way through that door someday. 21,000 hit points, it's gonna take a while. Oh, one zombie didn't wake up. Oh, maybe more. Oh my goodness, yes, many more. Okay. Get into the funnel, everybody. There we go. I'm shocked. Look out. No, I think I'm good here. Are we good? Yeah, still just got some <laughs> Look at the pile of zombies. There's so many. They're just filling up the corridor here. Where did you guys come from? I see. Sneaky hole in the wall. Okay, so far this place is dangerous, but not unmanageable alone. Um, oh, I see some zombies up there. Okay, so we're in the basement level of the second cube. That's the ground level of the second cube. How do I get there? Probably through here, I would say. We're just gonna have to do it. There's gotta be a button, right? See, oh wait, there's a staircase. Oh geez. Well, I guess I'll take the stairs. Okay, uh, for this one though, rage capsule. How long does this last for? It doesn't say. Oh! God, that scared me, okay. I'm on a real rampage now. Yeah, here we go, die! Oh, here's the main loot as well. That's nice, there we go. Eat that. Take that. Yes. Holy crap, more zombies. Whoa. Just get into this hallway. Ah, that was not what I wanted. That is also not what I wanted. Help. Onto the stairs, please. And just let it rip. If ever I had a rampage, now would be a good time. Radiation damage. I got Prussian blue. I've also, I've got everything I need right now. I'm good. I'm infected a little bit, but I've brought herbal antibiotics with me. Hungry a little bit. I got some peas. Save the tuna though. That's good for tuna fish gravy toast. Holy crap. That was a total ambush there. Man, I spoke too soon about being, uh, this POI being manageable. I guess I'm, I'm managing just fine. We do have a zombie stuck in the reactor area. Oh, they were hiding behind this thing here the whole time. There's more. Yeah. Okay. We can handle them real quickly. <laughs> Sneak damage too. Love it. What do you got, Cookie? You got nothing. But we're not all clear. We do have a screamer. Yeah, let's just get the loot so we can get out of here if we have to. Oh my god, was that the Reaper? That's the Reaper. Oh my god, I've got it finally. Switching over immediately. I will um, compare the damage here in just a second. Oh, it's got five mod slots on it too, so it's like maxed out. We are doing, okay, one, 73, 139 compared to 41 and 81. Wow, the Reaper is just dramatically better. Here's a look at, oh my god, it's so cool. I can just use it as my axe as well. <laughs> Lovely. There we go. And the good loot is not much here. Okay, give me some Red Bull. 
We still gotta find a couple of zombies. I know where there's at least a couple. And checking on the compass. Oh yeah, we got the one guy that's still down here. So take care of him. I think a cop just blew up outside. And now on the compass, it's showing... I think the zombies that are down here behind this door. Okay, we're in. Get the Reaper out. Take this. Whoa. Oh, does it have area of effect? Oh, crap, the Screamer. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Look at this place here. This place is nice. We do have Screamer zombies that are inbound, though. Oh, crap. I've, I've, I'm all clogged up on the inventory, too. Okay, just uh, stackable and sellable items only, please. And it's, it's very quiet outside. Wow! What are you doing here? Okay. Oh, that, that uh, didn't last long. <laughs> Zombie grudge. Hey, let me in here. This is just the last bit of loot. We haven't cleared the area yet? Are you friggin' kidding me? Okay. Oh, there's an icon right there. That might be the rooftop, honestly. You know what? I don't have the patience for this. I'm gonna just carve through the ceiling. Come on. There we go. The night sky above me. Just what I was looking for. Okay. Lock and load. Are we good? Okay, more beer, please. Just in case and a red tea and a coffee because I, I should be able to do this with the reaper nice and quietly all right up we go oh it's just birds yep that was it quest is over yep oh there's a uh a corpulent <laughs> I called him a succulent before i think i like that <laughs> cactus boy all right well i'll take you out just if anything to uh test out my new weapon yes mr paquin can you please come out here kneecap you a little bit yeah i can do like 500 damage per hit here take that and die corpulent give oh jeez, big mama big mama with a freaking big body push okay i just want to check your loot bag there anything sham military fiber don't need that don't need empty cans okay i think we're good here let's go home let's go get our quest reward first okay yes uh right because it's the tier four so we get all kinds of good stuff here so we can take the genetics bundle that'll give us a an extra perk book the dna boosts we can just sell weapon parts bundle ammo crafting bundle these seem to be the quest rewards every single time is this all is this it is this all i get to choose from and then uh, the Mad Max Hunter Repair Tool. Not really interested in that, honestly, and I don't know where to find one anyway. The R8 Magnum Schematic, we found a bunch of those anyway. So, yep, these three it is. And we're good here. Let's head home. There it is, man. I've never actually played the game with dynamic meshes on, and I'm finally able to with my new computer. It's so cool to see it from, like, from the trader back there. Okay, set her down. And have a look at the loot haul, because I wasn't paying too much attention. Okay, HK, the Desert Eagle. That's my old Darkeen Scythe, the Savage. I love that thing. The STI 2011. We've seen that, haven't we? I'll pull it out just in case we haven't. And otherwise, yeah, just start shoving all that stuff into the inventory. Definitely gonna have to do a sell-off here very shortly. Yep, yep, we've seen that before. All right, I'm gonna get everything put away and organized, and then if there's any time left over in the night, I'm just gonna head over there real quick and do a little bit of iron mining so that I can get the forges running again. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.